morning southeast texas we are doing things a little differently we normally don't have a morning forecast on the weekends you see me during the afternoon and evening hours we are still having those shows so make sure you join us back here at 6 p.m today and at 10 p.m because we're going to have your latest updates um so to make sure you stick with 12 news and your storm tracker team we are going to do sort of like a slideshow today and you're not going to see my beautiful face, but I'm just going to talk over these slides just to give you the latest and make sure that you have all of the numbers that came out this morning and then we'll have more later on in the day. So your headlines for today, cold temperatures, record lows, there's going to be a crippling ice storm. Yes, we say crippling because we're not going to be able to leave the house for possibly at least for Monday and then Tuesday probably not either because you're going to have those record low temperatures when you have below freezing that ice is going to stick around for another day or so right so we are going to have a crippling ice storm Sunday night into Monday and then we are going to see about a third to half an inch of freezing rain that's accumulating ice and then sleet and possibly some snow up towards um, the north, Jasper and Newton, possibly into Tyler County as well. Right now, we're not seeing any sort of rain out there. We might get some light drizzles later on in the day. We are definitely seeing lots of cloudiness out there. The sun, we're not going to be able to see that for at least the next few days possibly we could get some sun as we head into tuesday and wednesday of next week but expect just gloomy dark skies out there temperatures right now already mid and upper 30s pretty cold out there so bundle up get your winter gear out now is the time to start preparing and make sure that you have your warmer winter weather you really want um rain resistant gear and you want really thick clothing as well and layers that's going to be your best friend for the the next few days into the next week so definitely prepare with clothing and then start getting all of your supplies because we already are in a winter storm watch for most of southeast texas all of southeast texas winter storm watch means that there is a potential for accumulating ice sleet snow this definitely will be a winter storm warning i feel like as soon as we head into tomorrow and monday so because we're kind of getting a better consensus right so and then we could get um you know there is a freezing rain advisor there's ice storm warning so we will continue to monitor the, this for you guys definitely i think there are going to be many other warnings and advisories because models are starting to have a better consensus, right? So through the weekend, today into tomorrow, few showers out there. So light drizzles today, about 10% coverage. And then as we head into Sunday, 20% during the day, and then to about an 80% overnight as we head into Monday, right? So few showers out there today, maybe some light drizzles. I don't think it's going to be a really wet day today definitely not and then it's going to get progressively colder right we're going to be dropping down into the teens as we head into early next week so president's day on monday that's you're not going to be outside you have to stay in your your house um that's really what we recommend just to be safe because you definitely don't want to be out there when there's an ice storm and things are falling down. You know, our trees are not made for ice storms, neither are power lines. So expect icy roads, expect power outages on Monday, Tuesday, coldest in 60 years, icy roads out there. So Tuesday record low is 14 degrees. We're definitely going to break that. I don't know about here in Beaumont, but definitely up towards the lakes area we're gonna break that 14 degrees but in beaumont still pretty iffy and you know with cooler conditions really cool conditions you want to remember the four p's so we want to get you prepared for this today and then early tomorrow 
you know, things are selling out quickly, supplies. So just remember the four P's, plants, cover them up or bring them inside if you can. Pipes, you're really going to want to cover those up. Let them drip here and there if you can during the ice storm just so that they don't freeze up. And then, you know, of course, keep yourself warm. If you do have a generator, make sure you're using those safely. Um, make sure that you look up the safety tips and how to use those correctly. Space heaters, if you have gas, you can use a gas-powered space heater, natural gas space heater, um, or an electrical one if you do have a generator. So there's lots of ways to stay warm, but you're definitely going to want to make sure that that's a priority during winter weather like this. And if it's too cold for you, then chances are it's too cold for your fur babies, right? So make sure that you bring them in, keep them warm as well. A lot of people are asking, well, can we take them out to go to the restroom? Probably not during an ice storm is, is it going to be the best idea. So, um, but you can definitely take them out once the storm has settled and moved out of the area. Just make sure to keep them warm as well. So looking at ice accumulation, looks like about a third to half an inch of accumulating ice. So it's enough to snap branches and it's enough to cause power outages. So it, it's... It could be less, it could be more, right? So during the storm, we will be monitoring ice accumulation, but it could be less than what models are showing right now, and it could be more. So just be prepared for both. Now looking at our high resolution modeling for kind of the timing of this storm, it looks like by midnight on Monday, that's when we're gonna start seeing some of that freezing rain. And then as we head into the early morning hours, into 7 a.m., that's the worst of the storm between those hours. So between 3 and 7 a.m. is the worst of the storm. And then it looks like when the storm is moving out of here around 11 into 3, upper portions of southeast Texas could possibly even see snow. Not here in the Triangle, we're going to have freezing rain, sleet, but up towards the lakes area, you guys could possibly be seeing some snow out there once the storm system is already passing through our area and off towards the east. Now, looking at temperature, our temperature forecast, this is for the next three, th three days. So Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. So the, this is four different models we blend to get our forecast. So Sunday, Valentine's Day, we're looking at a, a another cold day. We're going to go with, you know, these models are showing mid to low 30s for the lows and then upper 40s and then 50 for the high. So we're going to blend and say 34 for the low as we head into Sunday and then 46 for that high. So still pretty, pretty cold temperatures we're pretty close to freezing just two degrees off and then on monday we're getting progressively colder right so monday already dropping down into the 20s so G gfs and gfs ensemble are going with mid 20s and then euro ensemble and the euro are saying upper 20s so we're blending and we're going to go with 27 for the low on monday and then 34 for that high and then Tuesday, this is going to be our record low day, right? If it does drop below 17. So GFS and GFS Ensemble are saying 11 degrees here in Beaumont. Up towards the lakes area, definitely are going to be in the 10, 11 degree range, right? For Beaumont, I'm blending going with 17 degrees for that low on Tuesday, 39 for the high so still close to record temperatures um we this could be cooler because again gfs and gfs ensemble are going 11 and then your own your own ensemble are going with 17 18 so definitely could be closer to 11 degrees 
on Tuesday, which will be cooler than that record low back in 1906, I believe. We'll check that in just a bit. So 10 to 12 degrees up towards the lakes area. I think we could drop it to the single digits. We haven't seen that in in, in a long time. You know, that doesn't happen here in Southeast Texas. So 13 to 17 degrees here in the Triangle. It's going to be chilly on Tuesday. So, yep, 10 degrees, 1906. So if we do get to um, 11 or possibly colder here in Beaumont, we could break that record and the one in 1930 as well. And see, so unofficial accounts, this is something that Patrick found. We haven't been in the single digits possibly since 1899. So if we do drop into the single digits up towards the lakes area, then we could set a new record. Now it is gonna be a breezy day on Monday as well. Wind chills are in the single digits for us here in the Triangle and then up towards Tyler County and portions of Hardin County and then the lower teens for the lakes area um, and other portions of southeast texas as well so wind chills are going to be very very cold so expect that as you head into early next week for at least until wednesday and then i we start to warm up a bit thursday and friday and let's look at how we're going to look for the rest of the day I think it's going to be a dry day. You might see some drizzles out there. This is from 7 p.m. today into 12 a.m. Sunday. Sunday is going to go, we're going with the 20% coverage of light showers throughout the day. So it looks like in the early morning hours we get some rain out there. And then it looks like freezing rain towards the later morning hours into 7 a.m. and then it clears out through lunchtime. Pretty dry forecast. Our temperatures by then are dropping below freezing up towards Burkeville and in Woodville. And then we're in the lower 30s here in the Triangle. Later afternoon hours around 3 p.m. still a dry forecast still near freezing temperatures a little above in the Triangle low 30s mid towards Port Arthur, Orange, and Winnie with 35 degrees. And then that's going to set us up for our crippling ice storm as we head into Sunday afternoon and evening. That's when we start to see patches of freezing rain throughout the Triangle and Lakes area. And then again, that timeline for that ice storm is around midnight until let's say 3 p.m. Monday, so midnight. Sunday going into Monday, and then Monday until 3 p.m. All right, everybody, we're going to be back at 6 p.m. with more weather, with more news. Make sure you stick with your storm trackers. We're going to give you the latest updates and the latest numbers on all of the modeling and the graphs. We'll see you at 6.